Simon Frappier was born in Quebec in 1904, one of eight children. As a young man, Armand Frappier lived in a small town outside Montreal. He had seven brothers and sisters, and he studied arts, sciences, and medicine. He invented a motto. In French, it says, la voix et non l'écho. In English, it translates to the voice and not the echo. That motto motivated him through his whole life. Armand was only 19 years old when his mother passed away with tuberculosis, and he would later also lose his little brother and grandmother to the same disease. That motivated Armand Frappier at 20 years old to devote his life to fight the tuberculosis killer. Armand Frappier was a Pasteurian humanist who modeled his institution after the Institut Pasteur in Paris to fight human threats caused by microbes and eventually to use microbes for the benefit of mankind. He went to the Institut Pasteur after he finished in medicine uh, to, uh, to learn about tuberculosis from authorities of the time. There he worked with the inventors of tuberculosis vaccine called BCG. And so he brought that back with him to Canada and, and tried to apply it uh, as a mechanism for dealing with tuberculosis in young people. Later with his daughter, Lise, he showed that vaccine could even prevent some types of cancer. And so he was doing straight diagnostic work and dealing with infectious diseases uh, and thinking about this problem of how to deal with diseases like tuberculosis. And so he worked towards starting an institute which he, he did all practically independently. This research institute was the first institute devoted to medical research in Quebec. So that was really the beginning of two things. And the, one is a whole line of researches which he could do in that environment on tuberculosis, uh, and secondly, to train people. A few years after its creation, the Armand Frappier Institute became involved in World War II efforts by freeze-drying human serum to be sent to Europe for the Allies. Then, in the 1950s, came the poliovirus epidemic, and Armand Frappier again was involved in making vaccine he, he was one of the group who discussed the possibility of forming a true Canadian microbiological society. Armand Frappier was a true leader and visionary. He brought together teams of intelligent scientists to work towards the common goal of fighting human health problems. His laboratory and, and institute uh, provided the venue for the first formal meeting of the society. The legacy of Armand Frappier is seen every day on the Laval campus of INRS Institut Armand Frappier, a world-renowned research institution that bears his name, but also his will to improve health and environment through basic, targeted and applied research and the training of scientists of the future. An internationally respected researcher, a tireless builder and collaborator, a passionate leader in the deadly battle against tuberculosis. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Armand Frappier.